when you look at that sort of not just the incredible bull market that Nvidia has been in, then the decline and this rapid turnaround, what is fueling this stock? Yeah, I, I think what, what's fueling it is there is still a ton of spending on the AI chips that NVIDIA makes. Um, so I, I think the, the downtick was concerns that that, that spending might abate. Um, also, that they might have some issues with their next generation of chips. And, and I think the recovery has to do with a lot of recent data points suggesting that spending on AI just isn't slowing. Can you point to a catalyst in particular? Uh, certainly Foxconn last week. Uh, they came out and said that things are going really well, um, that the rest of their year looks great. And a lot of that is being driven by AI servers. Uh, they're NVIDIA's largest partner uh, on its new Blackwell chips. Um, but beyond that, uh, you go back a little bit, Supermicro, another big NVIDIA customer, uh, they had a tough quarter because of gross margins, um, but their sales were great and their guidance was great. Uh, you mentioned the Blackwell chip. There's been some concern about that being delayed. Does it matter to the overall growth narrative for NVIDIA? I, I think in the near term, it, it, it certainly doesn't. Um, so if I look at last quarter uh, or, and this quarter coming, I, I don't think Blackwell was ever going to be a large portion of revenue. Moving forward, um, certainly they have to execute and make sure that this is that any delay is minor versus major. Um, and certainly, you don't want to see it being a repeated problem. But they've executed so well. Um, if if they're on track from here, I, I don't think it matters. When you're looking at the broader landscape for the chips, and and I just happen to have been uh, covering the 13 Fs, I saw a lot of movement with other chip makers, not just NVIDIA. I see that you have other, what you call green flags in some of the other companies in the space. Can you talk about what's ahead for the sector and which companies in particular you like? Yeah, so I, I mean, certainly, I think that everyone is committed to spending uh, on AI through the Blackwell launch. Um, so you've got another year plus of, I, I think, elevated AI spend. Um, I, I think that drags a lot of companies along with it. So it's not just NVIDIA, um, it's TSM on the, on the fab side, it's um, the memory makers. Um, you need HBM, uh, high bandwidth memory to support these new chips. Um, that helps out Micron. Uh, you need more storage, um, AI creates data. Uh, that helps out companies like Western Digital and Seagate. Um, and so a lot of a lot of the boost right now is around the AI complex, um, where I think you may get a, another pickup next year is if we do see AI proliferate in edge devices, uh, that requires more content. And so that benefits a, a whole lot of the semiconductor world. Uh, NVIDIA stands right now uh, in extended trading at one hundred twenty two and ninety cents. Um, it looks like it's dropped off by a percent and a third in the extended trade. Would you still encourage your uh, your investors who look to you to get in now? I, I still have a buy rating, and I, I think that we get a, another quarter from NVIDIA that, again, is is another beaten raise. Um, they've been doing it consistently. Uh, the, the, there just doesn't seem to be any change uh, in momentum from their customer base.